In the first episode of Palm Royale, Maxine is attempting to blend in with the group of women at the upscale hangout. Maxine is unable to win over any of the women, no matter how hard she tries. Maxine goes to great lengths to fit in, even if it means lying about her tail, getting into a forced automobile accident, or taking advantage of someone. Some doubts about the remainder of season 1 are raised by the strange opener, and who was named Volunteer of the Year. Evelyn is anticipated to win Volunteer of the Year once more, having received the award several times in a row. Evelyn views the award as self-gratifying, despite the fact that it is meant to commemorate the cancer cure. To Evelyn's dismay, Dinah is going to take home the Volunteer of the Year award for the first time ever. Despite her short two-week stay in Palm Beach, Maxine felt at home at the Palm Royale. Evelyn and the women were enjoying a little discussion when she interrupted them to talk to them. Shortly after, we witness Maxine getting into difficulty and being expelled from the Palm Royale. While having her nails done, Maxine notices a guy and Dinah fighting. Maxine takes this as an opportunity to win Dinah over, even if she doesn't understand why Dinah was over at West Palm Beach. Dinah is driven by Maxine, who cuts her off and forces her to crash into the rear of her vehicle. Maxine wants to become friends with Dinah when they are waiting in the waiting area of Dinah's personal doctor. Dinah, however, informs everyone that joining the club costs $30,000 and that monthly dues are $500. Dinah is aware that she cannot afford that based on her possessions. When Dinah experiences a mini meltdown, Maxine takes advantage of the opportunity to talk to her about everything. Dinah tells Maxine everything about her life for the remainder of the day, including the fact that she is pregnant and that she was having an affair. Maxine goes to see Linda since she needs an abortion and wants to help her take care of it. When Maxine takes Dinah to get the abortion, everything goes according to plan. Maxine seizes the opportunity to go pick up Dinah's outfit for the impending awards event after being turned down once more. When she does, Evelyn hears her discussing Dinah's illness after she makes insinuations about it. As a result, Evelyn and Grayman give Dinah some cupcakes. Dinah accuses Maxine of stealing cupcakes, claiming they were meant for ill people, and rushes over to confront her. After exchanging angry words back and forth, Maxine eventually persuades Dinah to sponsor her entry into the club in exchange for blackmail. Part 2. Maxine always trying to appear better so she can dress like Evelyn. This indicates that even if her expenditure is getting better, she lacks the funds to maintain up. She is still stealing expensive jewelry from Norma and pawning it, as we can see. Upon her return to the Palm Royale, Maxine requests a drink from Robert. She replies yes when he asks whether she intends to remain for the summer. Robert informs her that the first month is a trial period and that in order to continue, she will require a second sponsor and payment. When Dinah's husband Perry shows there, everyone is hanging out by the pool. He strikes up a conversation with Maxine about his union with her husband. Douglas. Perry attempts to claim Maxine doesn't have a third when he invites her to play tennis with him and Dinah. He asks Eduardo, the guy Dinah was seeing, to play doubles with them after spotting him. Maxine is going to see how Norma is doing. She nods off and dreams about murdering her. As she heads out to get something to bring to the charity event later, she notices Linda heading out of a room. Maxine discovers that Linda was in her dad's room, which she claims to have been visiting. Maxine realizes she may use Linda as a ruse when Linda reveals that Evelyn Rollins is her stepmother. In order to pilfer additional items for the auction that evening, Maxine goes to Norma's residence. Robert, nevertheless, surprises her by pulling a pistol on her and asking why she is there. Robert responds that she is taking care of Norma in Norma's house when she pushes back, questioning why he is there. Fib Midnight, an auction to combat fibrosis, is taking place at the Palm Royale. People are beginning to display their stuff. That evening, they have an auction scheduled to generate funds, and Maxine has a small gold cat figurine that no one seems to care about. Anne approaches her to inform her of the statue's great significance. This causes Evelyn and Maxine to engage in a bidding war. Anne tells Maxine that she should give it to Evelyn, but Maxine allows her pride get in the way and places a winning bid of $75,000 on the cat statue. Linda consoles Maxine after noticing her distress outside. Following a thorough conversation between the two, Linda consents to sign the third signature on her sponsorship card indicating that she is now fully prepared to join the Palm Royale. Maxine's landlord has started removing her belongings from the room because he has had enough of her non-payment of the bills. In an effort to get back on track, she goes to see Mitzi, but Mitzi is still hurt by her breakup with her partner. Mitzi announces that Maxine will be the shiny sheets main story. The town speculates as to whether Maxine Delacorte will be the beach ball's bell. Maxine goes to visit them and boasts about being the main story, trying to put some shit into the ladies. Dinah decides to make fun of Maxine by telling her that the women should come to her house since she isn't happy. Naturally, Dinah agrees it would be a blast, and to everyone's surprise, a frightened Maxine announces that it will take place at the Delacorte mansion. When Maxine gets at the Delacorte mansion, she discovers that everything isn't ready for her party. She attempts to kick Robert out first, but he won't go. She then goes to request Linda's assistance after seeing there is no food in the house. Even though Linda is annoyed with Maxine, she can't help but assist with party prep. 
Every visitor to the residence makes fun of Maxine's plan to live at the Delacorte mansion. Additionally, they place a drink order, and Maxine realizes she is alone in making the beverages. Robert refuses to assist her when she tries to ask for it. The women tease her and criticize every suggestion she makes for the impending beach ball, who is going to inherit from Norma. Everyone left the ladies gathering before they had even had time to eat, so it was a complete failure. Maxine lies and says she has a lot of money when Evelyn follows up to find out whether she actually has any. She goes on to say that Douglas will get the estate once Norma passes away. But Evelyn informs Norma that her estate will be placed in a trust that will support the Palm Beach Pedigree Feline Society once Norma passes away. Norma says that Douglas would be the last person she would give her inheritance to, and Evelyn adds that they were very close. To help her salvage face, Evelyn claims she would be holding the beach ball inside the Delacorte mansion and she will pay her a small fee for utilizing the property. Maxine, not happy with what she's heard, begs Evelyn to help her, and Evelyn responds that they will have success if she locates the key to the safe deposit box and obtains the Rolodex. Douglas returns home at the end of the episode, and he and Maxine start having sex. As Linda prepared to go after spending the night with Robert, we notice that she was holding the Rolodex that Maxine had been searching for. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.